we saw it with Mike Hilton. He talked about that's the thing he admires most, his ability to make adjustments at halftime. To a rolling left with the green, and down he goes. Swung down in his own 48-yard line. Josh Tupu. And, uh-oh. Well, we saw him last week, and he went down. He got up. It was wobbly. The training staff comes out. And, of course, the last thing the Dolphins wanted to see. I mean, last week it looked for all the world. Everybody thought head injury, concussion, passed the protocol, came back second half, led him to a victory. And, and, and Al Tupo slams him to the ground. I mean, it, it's, you think about the back, the ankle, but he gets thrown to the ground. Again, wrenching that back, which yeah. was the issue last week. Yep. So they work on him. We'll step away for a moment. And then we'll show you in a moment the way his fingers were stretching out at the end of that play. Comes down on his elbow, comes down on his back, comes down on the back of his head. With serious force, he goes down. Right, and right as he goes down. You can see both his hands. You, you just get right away, you get concerned. They're bringing a stretcher out right yeah. now. And he was brought down. I mean, a big man bringing with 340 pounds, bringing him down with a lot of force right onto his back and on the back of his helmet. Off of the week that he had last week. I mean, he's just being a, a gamer playing tonight, trying to be there for his team. You could see the concern of the rest of his teammates. We'll take him back, and Teddy Bridgewater will come in when play resumes. The Jacksonville Jaguars before that, the Giants. And Mike Ryan tells us when he sees that, he's watching this as you are as well, it's a neurological response to head trauma. So they're stabilizing him right now. Head hits the turf. Elbow hit first, then the head. And uh, again, Harpy just uh, turns around just like that. Uh, again, <laughs> worth mentioning it. Very similar sack last week, or, or push from Milano to Buffalo a lot when he hit his head uh, on the game last week. See these players all huddled around him right now. Jalen Waddle, 17, we saw earlier. He, of course, went to school with him in Alabama, has known him for a long time. Let's see how concerned he is. So two and the, the two a chant going up from the the Bengal crowd, popular around the country. Such okay. a great you know college career, obviously. This is one of the more likable personalities you'll ever come across. Yep. And they'll take him back initially to the locker room. There was the coach Mike McDaniel. We'll just send off and we'll get as soon as we can, obviously, the official word as we hear it. Yeah, you can hear the whole stadium yelling the Tua, Tua. Stabilizing and keeping the helmet on as they wheel him back. And so Teddy Bridgewater, no stranger to the NFL, is a starter with Minnesota for a number of years, ninth year in the league out of 